Hi guys, AI has come up with more interesting and creative ways to play. And today, I will use two AI tools to create two different styles of logos and add them to my video production. If you want to know how, then you definitely don't want to miss this episode. First, let's go to this website. You can find the link in the description box down below. Log in to your account and enter the main page. Here, enter the description of the logo you want. Then you can customize the magic prompt, a spec ratio, and a visibility. Click Generate after you finish it. Wait a moment to see the generated result. Choose the logo you like. Click this button. You can either download the current result directly or click Remix to do other operations. For example, adjust the image white, choose more different tags, and click Generate again. This way, you can add more details to the current logo. Next, let's go to a different style website, and the link will also be put in the description box down below. Click here to start your logo creation. First, enter the logo name. Then click Continue. Here you can choose a matching logo type or choose to skip. I will choose Restaurant. Then choose the color schemes. After that, select the font styles you like. Click Generate. And many logo presets will be generated here. Choose the logo you want to add it. Click Add it to enter the new page. You can choose the graphic part on the canvas. Enter the keyword on the left to get a new graphics to replace it. You can also adjust the layout of the text on the canvas and delete unwanted content. After completing the basic editing, you can select the text. Click the advanced option on the left and continue to customize the text shape here. Then choose the text effect. In addition, you can also change the font, modify the colors, and see more symbols. Now we switch to Vidpo Vlogger. Create a new project. Import all the materials. Drag the video clips to the video track one by one. Adjust your durations. Then drag the playhead to preview the screen. Find a clip that leads color grading. And then find a color icon in the toolbar. Click on it to enter the color and filter editor panel. Adjust the exposure, contrast, and the saturation values one by one on the right side. Then adjust all the values to balance the overall color. Click Apply after finishing the adjustments. Now we drag this logo to the overlay track. Adjust the duration. Then find the transform error in the inspector to adjust the scale and the position. Add a fade effect to it. Then find the motion icon in the toolbar. Click on it to add it a sliding effect. Click Add Keyframe on the first frame. Adjust the box to cover the entire screen. And then move the playhead back and click Add Keyframe. Add a speed curve to it. Then go back to your first keyframe. Move the box to your right until it is completely off screen. Click Apply to return to the main interface. Open the effects panel in the upper left corner. Drag the BNW crop effect to your timeline to align with this logo. Add a scope in the inspector. Uncheck Canvas. Apply it only to the video. Next, drag another logo to the end of the video. Complete the basic editing. Then select the corresponding video, go to the inspector, and check Enable Image Closing. Adjust these three parameters. This will make the logo stand out more. 
Next, we open this title panel, drag a text preset to a timeline to align with this logo. Then go to the inspector to add a text content. Choose the appropriate font. Adjust the font size and the position. Then click Add a Text. Adjust the text color parameters on the right side. Make it Hello Text. Then change the text border color. Don't forget to click Animation on the left side and add a fading effect to it. Adjust the animation time on the right side. Click Apply to apply the adjustment. And finally, you can add a cinematic opening to your first clip. Add a transition at a proper time. And match your video with music. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you want to know more about other and tricks or what has been going on with Video Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.